and then the turn here, the guy's not turning, but you can see it's pretty easy to turn. Wow, very nice. Good afternoon welcome back to the channel this is peter in today's interesting used car segment we kind of get behind the wheel of this awesome pre-owned 2021 subaru wrx premium now very excited you guys to get behind the wheel of this wrx since it's equipped with a six-speed manual transmission one of my favorite ways to drive a car now please excuse the uh, decal on the on the windshield it says 2020 it is actually a 2021 i guess that messed that up but before we go on guys big thank you to barto for allowing me some time with this wrx big thank you to my friend tim and i'm gonna put all their information and a link to the website in the description below hey ladies and gentlemen here we have this 2021 subaru wrx premium now this 2021 is basically the last year of the first generation of this wrx in 2022 we got the new chassis a new platform with also for of course much different cladding and design a lot of a lot of enthusiasts were not happy with the design of course all that plastic surrounding the fender flares i'll put a picture for you guys up on the screen uh, even though i have not had a chance to drive this new generation the newer 22 plus generation wrx i think it's still a good looking car i kind of get used to it i kind of like it now that it's grown on me a little bit but this one that we have with us here is a 2021 guys it's finished off in world rally blue pro which is a fantastic color for this wrx's and especially this one here that is a six-speed manual version that's why i wanted to bring you guys this car give you guys the opinion obviously it's a 2021 it's got just over 43,000 miles so it's a used one and it's got they're asking just under twenty six thousand dollars. now as you can see this is a well taken care of car looks the paint looks good condition we'll take a look at the condition of the car just a little bit more but let me know if, for those who know about the enthusiasts let me know if this is price a little high a little bit lower or it's just to see where the price is on this one now dude i did find the original sticker that's inside uh, once we get inside we'll take a look at that original sticker that now this wrx here considering its age is about almost about 10 years old and then came out in 2016 if i'm correct i'll put that information for you guys up on the screen when this first generation came out but really looks especially when this world rally blue looks really good and of course the design just works it's kind of kind of sleekish still kind of newish looking car i like the design of this car this 40 sedans of course we got the famous intake here for the intercooler which is a great little feature of this wrx we got your led or hid headlights we got your fog lights we got the nice front design here of this wrx it's kind of low and long coming here on the side guys we got this nice 18 inch wheel these are gloss black wheels no performance picks on this one that you can see we got the really nice wheels wrapped around 245 millimeter dunlop sport max tires i think i believe this is still the original wheels that came with this car wrx splash right there you can see there are nice fender flares as well nice design side mirror as you can see there a uh, really nice design to this wrx i still like it quite a bit uh, especially in sti trim now if you guys been watching my channel for quite a bit uh i did do a review on an sti model i think it was a 2019 or 20. if you just want to check out my channel and uh, browse it you'll find the review that's about two years ago if i'm correct so it's been quite a bit of while now of course we got the same wheel and tire package here in the back basically we got a square setup all around of 245 millimeter tires coming here in the back guys we got a really nice design to the tail lights we got a little spoiler here in the back of course here in the back we got your symmetrical all-wheel drive batch here from subaru as you can see there we got the nice dual exhaust we got your nice feature here in the back as well as you can see there and let's take a quick look at the trunk of this car as you can see guys we got the key here we're pretty much a regular key we're going to do we have open close and just a quick uh pop here of the trunk here let's go ahead and open up the trunk we got a reverse camera there as well very light trunk as you can see there and here in the back we got basically looks like a factory subaru um rubber mat right here in the back if we lift this up we have a little more trunk space and i believe we do have a spare tire here underneath i can see right there so we do have a spare tire underneath this cars and we got about 12 cubic feet of space here in the back as you can see there this seats do fold up as well so you got pretty pretty decent room for this smallish mid-size sedan this is about the size of a corolla so it's not bad in design and got plenty of room here to put a lot of your things here in the trunk so there we go guys pretty good amount of space here in this uh in decent size in this wrx really nice the way this is designed there we go and coming here to the hood of this wrx as you can see guys the paint is actually in pretty good shape i've seen a lot of scratches or a lot of bugs nothing like that this is an all florida car so as you can see the paint's been well taken care of as you can see there i need a bit of paint correction but it's not bad overall let's go ahead and raise the hood so you can see we got the intake there that working air intake shows your inner cooler there 
And as you see, we also got some hydraulic assistance. Thank you, Subaru. And here we have the two liter flat four turbocharged engine. This is producing 268 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. This is going through a six-speed manual transmission. This car is equipped with. You can also get a CVT transmission. That's about $2,000, but this is the six, the six speed is the way to go. Uh, this is also has, of course, Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system that basically centered in all the WRXs. That's what makes them special. Good, powerful turbocharged engine. All-wheel drive is what makes these beauties and what's, you know, what's basically the Achilles heel of all these cars. That makes them fun. So the fuel economy, you're looking at about 21 city, 27 highway. Of course, that's depending on how you drive. Uh, but it's a pretty decent amount of uh, fuel economy. But obviously, these two cars are enthusiast cars. You're not really known for fuel economy. But uh, it's not bad overall if you want to just chug it along uh, nicely. In terms of uh, reliability, these are pretty reliable engines. I think as long as you don't tune them heavily, I know a lot of enthusiasts uh, think have a. I think Subaru has a different engine in Japan than this one, uh, which is a little bit better, or basically comes in better into tuning. But that depends on what you do with this car. But I think it's an overall good engine, good power. It is a bit of uh, laggy sometimes in terms of when the turbo kicks in, but it's a good engine overall. It sounds fantastic as well, especially with a good export exhaust. But um, there we go, guys. Here's the engine of this Subaru WRX. Let's go ahead and drop the hood down. And there we go. And coming to the driver's side of this WRX, we do have like a comfort access that the roll door opens or unlocks when you come close to it. We also got, as you can see, we had a heated mirror there as well. Love the design of those mirrors. Opening up the door, guys, I'm gonna check out the rear rear, especially the small rear seats, not, not too much back there. But as you can see, guys, here in the front, we got a really nice red debated stitch in there, and nice red stitching with a black leather here on the doors. It might deal down a little bit here. As you can see, guys, controls for your windows and mirrors. All oh, this is pretty much softer, it's not too bad, but obviously got a little more harder plastic here on the bottom. Not a decent place to put your drinks, as you can see there. Uh, coming here to the interior, as you can see, we got the nice leather cover strable with red stitching. This is man on the adjustable. We got your seats, as you can see, they're pretty nice side bolstering, pretty aggressive seats to this WR axis. Uh, they fit really nice and snug. They kind of not some not huge bucket seats, but pretty close to that. These are manual seats, as you can see there as well. Uh, mentioned the manual seats and the telescoping steering wheel. Of course, this is an older interior that's quite a bit old, about 10 years old in design. A little bit of carbon fiber trim right there, as you can see there. Uh, controls for lights, open up your trunk bit of uh things right there as you can see there we got a bit of aluminum pedals there as well which is a nice touch there and of course we got your six speed as you can see there's a pretty nice interior overall guys the sunroof there as well but uh, let's go ahead guys and uh drop inside and here we're inside of this wrx that's of course everybody's familiar with this interior and this one here is in good shape because you can see there's no wear and tear at all on this uh steering wheel or nothing like that it's actually well taken care of now, as you can see guys the rest of it's got really nice uh interior we got a nice seat there with nice comfortable interior we also got a nice black headliner as you can see there with the surface i mentioned uh nice visibility there as well as you can see there we got the nice cloth box right here a little bit of carbon fiber trim right there we got your seven inch screen now let's go ahead guys before we go on let's go ahead and start up this car so you can see everything light up and at least we get some ac going because it's quite hot here in central florida right now let's go ahead and make sure our transmissions are neutral it stops our button There we go, guys. We got Subaru Starlink, as you can see there. Uh, this does have a little bit of uh, pitch volume to the belt. I don't know why it's uh, kind of sounding like that. But before we go on, let's go ahead and see if we can hear this in a little bit here. Sounds pretty good, though. I like the way it's, it's all stock. No, I don't think there's any modification to this car at all. Let's go ahead and close the door, guys, here. So now that we got the door closed and we have a little bit of a uh, nice AC cooling in the cabin here. It's really nice and hot. It says 90 degrees outside, but the humidity is about 100% right now. Uh, but as you can see, guys, really nice interior. Obviously, this is quite a bit of older in the tooth, but this is kind of the way I like them. Uh, in terms of the way everything is, as I mentioned, really everything was taken care of. No scratches, no really worn out areas. For 43,000 miles in about three years, this still looks pretty much still brand new. Um, so you can see it's got 43,435 miles. Uh, I love the instrumentation. You can see we got a small, like a three or four inch screen here in the middle with digital speed out and we also got your analog tack and speedometer we got about a five inch screen here on the top with your boost case as you can see there we get the boost we got the temperature the time and probably you can scroll through those things a little bit there as you can see we got a little screen there you can kind of scroll through that as you can see there's pretty cool to have we'll leave that on there and here as you can see we got your hazards we got the little control here for your center screen uh ac vents down here we got your seven inch uh infotainment system if we got a volume button right there as you can see and the volume decent stereo six speakers 
which is not bad at all we got some mini jaw plane uh, everything is controlled by the home button so you can see guys pretty easy to do you can do a lot of things here as well uh pretty quick to the touch not very simple system you got apple carplay android auto this does not come with uh, does not come with navigation you have to go to the limited to get that if i'm correct you get that inside here uh single sony is here here in the bottom as you can see there uh which is not bad we got a 12 port connection there a little more storage which here in the middle six speed manual cup holder here where my phone is you got your manual handbrake because i mentioned over here we got a cloth box got pretty good size room a bit, a bit of carbon fibers as you can see there really nice interior as you can see they really nice the way it is pretty good amount of visibility as well the seats feel fantastic we got the server as i mentioned we got also your black headliner with uh, the server connector also, and we got also a bit of light no place to put your sunglasses at all but it's not bad at all as you can see we got also some mirrors there as well all right guys but before we go on let's go ahead and check as i mentioned i did find the original sticker of this car let's go ahead and take a look at it here first shit here with us as you can see guys here we have a 2021 i'm gonna put this for you guys up on the screen i think i took a picture of it might see a little bit better but as you can see guys 2021 subway wrx of course finished off in the world rally blue this one here started about thirty thousand dollars 917 for that uh, standard option was a popular package number two 917 159 dollars for the center armor which is right here and if i didn't mention we also have some heated seats there as well at least the bottom cushion let's see this kind of pops up a little bit here and if you pop this up we have a couple of usb ports there tow bolt connection and also an auxiliary connection so you have that in there with you now as you can see guys the total price on this one is 32,046. but uh, i did find a little extra decal here a little bit of pressure here on the side so as you can see guys here we have uh canon arm out of this start they were charging 80 dollars for a nitro fill up 100 bucks for the wheel locks and a supply chain hardship which i never heard of before of course this is basically an add-on for 1500 bucks for a total price of thirty-three thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars and ninety cents supply chain hardship and that's probably going to come up into now that we have that all the uh they got all the harbors uh, stopped or the shit, it's unbelievable how they you know, obviously they had it so it's about thirty-three thousand dollars somebody paid for this car now as i mentioned this barto ford is asking just under twenty six thousand, like twenty five nine. uh in terms of the of course being had forty three thousand miles being three years old i think it's priced a little bit higher to me should be down maybe into the twenty two twenty three thousand dollars that's my kind of my thoughts are let me know what you guys think although this car is actually well well in good shape as you can see it's really well maintained and it's pretty much still a brand new car i'm sure it's a pretty reliable car it's a japanese subaru so um but let's go ahead guys before we go let's go ahead but let's go ahead so i think it's a, it's a pretty good reliable car in terms but it, it's a so let me know what you guys think of the price considering the mileage 43,000 and the condition actually it's pretty good condition as you can tell there's no wear and tear on this at all pretty much a newer subaru so all right let's go ahead and go out for a test drive let's go ahead and put our handbrake down let's go ahead and get our the only thing about this one here that i feel that the uh i'm well, sitting a little higher than usual but i actually find this a little bit weird the the angle of the uh clutch to the transmission kind of feels weird to me a little bit kind of you kind of you're dragging your feet along with the ground i don't know just just be some personal but that's the way i feel it but uh let's go ahead guys and put our go in reverse can i pull this up a little bit here and as you can see guys we got a reverse camera there which are actually line as you can see there i don't think we have any sensors at all those things do not move but at least you got a camera there as you can see there so it's not bad at all let's go ahead guys and go first gear and let's head out in this subu wrx so they have my windows open just a little bit here since they're a little bit tinted as you can see we got a nice type par honda civic right there which i love to drive and get my hand behind the wheels because it's kind of semi semi competitive to this car uh, of course it's got all wheel drive the honda does not but the honda is quite a bit of mach machine uh, but this wrx is this, of course subaru is not offering a new sti they have the new tr for 2025 if i'm correct so all right let's go ahead guys and head out nobody coming and make sure here we got nobody coming here inside and let's head out on this subaru that engine the transmission and the clutch is not too bad pretty easy to mind it's quite a bit of long throw though on this one's here but it is a light car put the windows up handles pretty good very light it's only about 3300 pounds so it's not a very heavy car at all obviously this experience in this car is a little more raw not as you know this is this is basically doesn't have much doesn't sound any material it's got i guess to give it a bit of acceleration here get the turbo boost a little bit of turbo lag she got some good power definitely for sure the brakes 
brakes feel good obviously we don't have no brembos on this at all but it has a pretty decent good it has a pretty good uh feeling pads and good pedal feel yeah the brakes are good got some stuff going on the handle is very direct you can tell this is a uh, on the stiffer side and this, and this has got a really nice steering you can tell the steering wheel just it goes where you point it it's really direct and then the turn here the guy's not turning but you can see it's pretty easy to turn wow very nice good power car feels light on its feet uh you can just feel the all-wheel drive pulling you really nice super nice transmission really smooth as well good clutch layout and feeling this thing just feels so light i mean just so tossable also what i love about this car is i wanted to drive it uh this is not the sti version but she goes good here a little bit of a turbo boost in the sorry i just fixed my head a little bit here is that a cop yeah it's a cop might be a cop i'm gonna slow down just a little bit guys uh but yeah this thing feels feels fantastic it's very buttoned down uh even though these are probably the original tires on this one those uh dunlap super sports or sport max excuse me but uh yeah this thing feels so good though this wrx too bad we got a uh, friendly law enforcement up there i'm not gonna creep up behind them but uh yeah this feels good uh, not a lot of wind noise not a lot of road noise to be honest it's quite a bit uh, actually I'm, i'll take that back there is a bit of road noise uh but no wind really wind noise just a lot of road noise of course this is not as newer older chassis older type of thing but uh, i like the way this subaru feels very tight it feels very playful to be honest just feels so good light eager to go awesome autocross cars for sure yeah i didn't want to catch up on that uh charger you never know but uh let me know what you guys think and these are fun to drive i just love this thing especially with a six-speed manual uh just a fun car overall uh you know for about twenty five thousand dollars, it's a lot of bang for your buck but overall guys a really nice interior uh nice car to drive very lively feels good to you know just to toss around yes Now, funny enough, I did find a little bit of a little cob. Looks like a tuning. Uh, I just lost the name of it, but it's got a little tuning box there as well inside. I, I think this is pretty much stock. I didn't see any intake, or she didn't see anything on the uh, engine bay. But uh, she feels good. Good pulls good. Got plenty of power, even though today is pretty hot. Not boost, you know, friendly weather at all today. It's pretty hot. It's super humid as well. But this thing feels good. It's, the engine feels really nice and smooth transmission takes a little bit of getting to used to uh you know basically operating it smoothly but i like the way this car feels to be honest i really like it uh even though it's an older car this is just my type of chassis playful car uh light especially with the all-wheel drive you can have some fun with this car so you can slightly tune in a little bit uh just a good car got a little blow off too to it and yeah, the brakes are just good. This light car. Oh, that was a sheriff too. Yeah, I don't know if the capture camera is going to capture, but we do have a little bit of a blow off valve. Uh, it's just so light, this thing. Oh, yeah, this thing is just it feels so good. So playful, and the steering wheel is so direct too, which I like. Basically, this is the Achilles heel of the Subaru, the handling. I think it's just, oh, yeah, absolutely, just good. Clutch is, a, I gotta get used to it. It's got a little different uh, pickup point, but once you get it, if I get a few more miles, so this is, I'm driven a Subaru in basically two years, and this, uh, this is a little bit of different clutch engagement that, but uh, compared to my BMW. Uh, e90 but uh this is an overall good cars but uh, in conclusion guys let me know what you guys think of this car Forty-three thousand miles twenty six thousand dollars uh in good shape i mean this thing is you can see the paint's in good shape the interior is well capped uh, i believe it's only got two owners and i think it's got pretty decent amount of um what you would call 
uh, maintenance history on it too. Um, it's got decent tires too as well. So I mean, it's not bad. I think it might be, maybe if it was priced in the lower 20s, it would be a better deal. Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you very much for uh, being here with me. If you made it this far into the video, guys, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys been enjoying this quick little tour of this used Subaru WRX. I really appreciate it, guys. And there we go, guys. And 2021 Subaru WRX premium pretty nice car for the money let me know if twenty-five thousand dollars makes sense thank you very much for watching you guys have a good afternoon evening or wherever you are and we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.